Hey YouTube, Nintendo Craft Studios here, and welcome to another unboxing video. As today, I will be unboxing the eMods handheld arcade gaming system. Whew, that was a long name. So, I got it right in the mail today. As you can, well, you can't really see it right there. I am on, I'm not unboxing it from the box that this thing was in. Sorry, I already ripped it open. The box, the other box open, not this. So, anyways, take a look at the packaging here. You've got the whoops, six colors: black, white, red, green, purple. I think that could be blue. I'm not sure. And then orange. Built-in classic games: game prints, iPhone, PC, Android games. Model number ES-8, then a little peace sign. Then if we look at the side, it says Game Prince. And then Ch Chinese, I think, says Game Prince as well. Once again, please let me know in the comments. 2.5 inch TFT display. New classic 12-bit game. Built-in classic games. Power supply 3A, three, 3AAA three three AAA or... Why I and battery. I don't know how to say that. Sorry. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot on the front is that you can actually see the product right there. And any, but anyways. Then, th same thing over here as before. Cool designs with the arrows. And then it shows the a small little diagram of it itself and shows all the stuff. And then game prints on the back, and this says it again with Luigi and Mario right there. Then on the top, you have oh, whoopsies, the battery stuff. And then you have on the bottom some of the cautions. And then on the and then to open it, you just get one of these flaps open. Probably prefer using this. Don't want to, don't want to ruin it. Oof! Got it open. And then just slide it out, and let's see what we have. So. So first of all, these are the AV cords that you can use. You can actually hook this up to a TV using this, but we will get back to that in a while. Then you get some plastic packaging right here. You just use this little thing right here to get it out, and there you go. And you've got your D-pad. Similar to the PlayStation's D-pad, and I don't actually own any PlayStation consoles. I obviously have played a PlayStation before. It got a similar D-pad like that. Then a reset button, the A and B buttons, the T button. The T button is actually a turbo button, and we'll get back to that in the next video when I do a review. Start and pause button. Now, I should probably mention that there are 152 games on this. Actually, there aren't 152 games. I actually flipped, I actually put this back in the box after I looked at it. And, believe it or not, there are not 152 games. They must have ran out of ideas or ROMs. So they put stuff like Mario 1 and Mario 8. All Mario 8 is is just World 8 of Super Mario Brothers. And but I will show you and tell you more about it in the next video when I do my um review about it. Then you got a little speaker right there. That actually can get actually kind of loud. Then you got the screen right here and then you got RS-1. If we take it to the sides, not much, nothing on this side. Nothing on the bottom side. 
This is where your volume thing is. If you push it this way, it makes it louder. If you go the other way, it makes it um, more quiet. Then on the last side is the on and off switch. And then over here, you've got your little port to hook this thing in. And it plugs in just like that. Hook it up to your TV, and you can play on there. Now, on the back here, you've got the little tray, plastic tray to put in your batteries. It This version does not include any batteries at all. You can... So, you had to get your own. Slides back on like that. Some cool designs here and there. And yeah, that pretty much covers it for my unboxing video. So stay, stay tuned for the next video. We'll take a look at the, at the thing itself. Alright, bye bye.